come down here with your shovels. Yeah. People will throw your shovels in the woods, they'll steal them, they'll just break them. We yeah, barrel, so same I think, thing. I think, um, I've lost about at least 10 yeah. shovels down here. A few days ago when they did come through and plow through here, we had a couple shovels in a wheelbarrow uh, that went missing. We don't well, no, so. but like, uh, me and Stuart, we were just like riding here and we put our shovels in the forest and we came the next day. We saw like, tire marks at the Hart Landers Hart like, vehicle and we were looking where our shovels were, they weren't there. And yeah. we haven't found them since. It was like five shovels. So. I've actually checked into that and my staff at both Hartman Park and the other food that comes in here so they didn't pick anything. They picked up one rusty broken wheelbarrow that was off the side. They said it was a non-functioning. But like the first garbage that you guys came in and like took down the jumps on the way, uh, we had like this yellow wheelbarrow and when you guys came and did it, it was back like hidden and somebody moved it and like we were like, well where'd it go? And we thought you guys took it, but then we found it before it's like 50 feet back that way and it's like, well, why, how did it get there? Yeah. Okay, a couple more comments so we can wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying it's all your guys, it's like you guys are taking the shovels, but it'd be great if we could have like a like a loft, like a little shed or something or something like that where you could keep, yeah, keep them all in one place and have a few people have keys or you know, the combination for it. Kind of thing. There's one of those at Colonnade. There's also one of those at Green Lake. So, I mean, it's like, the thing is, is those who have the lock combination or the key, they get to dig or the group gets to dig when that's unlocked, unless you bring your own which a lot of times you can bring a broom to Green Lake to sweep the jumps or something like that. But other than that, you, you know, you'd have to bring your own stuff. And when there's other people there, they might say, hey, don't dig or don't do this or that jump's fine or mm -hmm. depending on the situation of the, like, the I jumps. I think with, as far as the tools go, right, to show respect for the, the city and the property is if you brought them home. I know it's kind of a pain, but they probably belong to the parents. <laughs> and <laughs> For them to uh, bring, <laughs> the bring the tools home, like, bring, you know, bring them with you each day that you need to build. So you can help your parents' garden. But then, but then, yeah, but then you're, you're also showing respect for the, the city property. And, right. Okay, a couple more comments back there, and we'll wrap up. Yeah, up there. Like, we'll either walk and home. Like, well, uh, we don't know what's, like, been going on. You know, there's been a ton of clearing up top here. We were kind of just curious. Every day we come out, we walk, we walk back this way. There's been a bunch of group parties. Forest the Blackberries. Yeah, yeah, we're doing um, the four stewards that are actually working in Hartman have chosen to um, to take a little more interest in this trailhead here and are doing blackberry removal and removing other invasive plants. They pulled a lot of garbage out of there and things like that a couple weeks ago. And um, and, and if replanting is required, then we'll be replanting in the fall. Yes. Well, I know you guys are doing that stuff, uh, but what's going to stop that from coming back? Like, we need kind of like, if we're going to build something that's like accessible to what you are saying before to like the 911 agencies, why don't we build it like a little closer to the street so they can kind of get there, get their stretchers in and stuff, and then you won't have to worry about the blast and all right that there. stuff coming back. <laughs> and we can refill what we've got here and we can kind of make it accessible to everyone. <laughs> well, I really appreciate everyone's